Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing good. So today's topic uh, will be on the auto goods seat that we use in the production planning scenario. So this auto goods seat uh, is basically used whenever if, uh, the user wants to perform the goods receipt of the final product uh, or the finished product upon confirming the last operation uh, in the production order or the process order. So let's get into uh, more details of it. So here in this slide we can uh, see two scenarios, uh, one with the manual goods receipt process and the other with an automatic goods receipt process. So in case of a manual GR process, uh, the scenario or the execution steps, it basically starts with the release of the production order or the process order and then we go with the confirmation process. So during this confirmation, if the uh, business is using the back first scenario, then the, co the components will get consumed uh, automatically uh, upon uh, confirming the first operation and here uh, in this scenario the user has to perform an additional transaction in, in Migo to perform the goods receipt of the finished product of how much has been actually yielded uh, on the production order but whereas in case of an auto GR process it again starts by releasing the production order or the process order and again it goes to the confirmation so where we can actually have the uh, auto consumption of components if the backflash has been activated so here in this uh, transaction itself, uh, while confirming the operation, the goods receipt will also be automatically posted on the finished product. So which means that there can be two subsequent steps uh, posted parallelly while uh, saving the confirmation. So if the components are uh, backfished, so the 261 happens while confirming the operation. And similarly, if the auto goods receipt has been enabled for the product, so then the uh, goods receipt moment will also be posted upon confirming the final operation. So the difference between the auto goods issue and the auto GR is that the goods issue it basically deals with the consumption of components and the goods receipt it deals with the uh, receipt of the finished product or the semi-finished uh, which we are actually manufacturing in the production order that will be posted into the uh, warehouse location or the storage location. So now the auto goods issue is usually enabled uh, at the first operation uh, but because we need the components to be consumed during the first operation itself, right? Or it can also be uh, in the second or third and the subsequent operations to which the components have been actually allocated. But whereas the goods receipt, we always want to perform this uh, GR while confirming the final operation in the uh, operation list of the production order. So in this process, the user can skip this additional step of executing the goods receipt in the Migo transaction. And what configurations and uh, in which master data can we actually uh, assign this auto goods receipt uh, functionalities? So coming to the configuration, we can activate the auto GR in the production scheduling profile that will be on the uh, production scheduling profile and the plan combination. So here we have the T code as OPKP and similarly we can assign the goods receipt functionality in the control keys for the operations. So when we look at the routings of uh, any material, I mean to say the finished product or the semi-finished, so we do assign the control keys uh, in the routings, right, for each and every operation. So there we need to choose the control key which actually supports the auto goods receipt functionality. So let's get into SAP and see how we can activate this and how the scenario will be executed. Let me open the production scheduling profile in OPKP. And let me choose the plant and the production scheduling profile. So here the plant is 1000 and the production scheduling profile is 001. So if I go into the details of this production scheduling profile here, I can see a functionality uh, with a checkbox that will automatically enable the goods receipt for all the production orders or the process orders that are being created in this particular plant. And also we need to make sure that this production scheduling uh, profile has been enabled uh, in the material master in the work scheduling view. So only with this production scheduling profile uh, in the material master, uh, the product will be eligible for the functionality of uh, automatic goods receipt. So if you are going to assign this 
<coughs> so if we are going to assign this uh, automatic goods receipt in the configuration so we need not again uh, perform an, ad an additional uh, configuration at the uh, control key right so let's get into the control key so I'm going to use uh, OP00 transaction so here I have the complete list of uh, control keys that I'm going to use it in the operations if I go into the de details of this control key so here I can see the checkbox for auto GR so let's say the automatic goods receipt has not been enabled uh, in the production scheduling profile so here is the option where you can actually activate the goods receipt functionality at the control key level so if I go into the production order just to show you uh, where we can actually enable these control keys so here in the operations overview of the production order we can see the control keys that are actually assigned to the complete set of operations so if I click on F4 here on the control key so this pop-up screen opens up and where I can see the details of this control key PP03. So here I can see that the automatic goods receipt has been enabled for this uh, control key PP03. And this is the final operation in the operation sequence or the operation flow for this product. Right. So which means that I can consume the components in my first operation and I can receive the finished product in the final operation upon confirming this. So le let us uh, try to confirm the final operation on this order. So I'm going to use CO11 in here since it is a production order. And the operation number is 0050. So now I'm going to enter let's say uh, 120 pieces. Okay. And if I click on this good moment icon here, I can see that the finished product of 120 pieces has been activated with the moment type 101. Right. So which means that the finished product that we are manufacturing in the production order will be posted into the stock upon confirming the final operation or the operation to which the control key has been actually assigned. And now if I change the yield, let's say to 20 pieces, so now the quantity will be automatically recalculated by the system. And in the good moment, I can see the same 20 pieces which have uh, entered as the yield. So out of my total order quantity of uh, 200 pieces, I'm going to yield uh, 20 pieces while confirming this uh, final operation. So that is how the automatic goods receipt uh, functionality works. That's all for today guys. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also click on the bell icon to receive updates. We'll meet again soon in our next video. Until then, take care, stay safe, stay healthy. Bye-bye.